Hey guys, Mitch here. So a couple of weeks ago, I added the uh, interact world interaction level to my VR content examples. It was pretty simple. All it was was really uh, picking up objects and throwing them around, or maybe using the objects you pick up. Uh, so I spent a couple the last couple of weeks just fleshing it out and uh, making it a bit more useful for you guys. So I have opened the uh, newest version of the content examples, and I'm just going to run through some of the things. Um, that I've added to the level. All right, without any further ado, I'll get on the Vive and we'll do some cool stuff. Okay, so I got the Vive on and I'm just gonna uh, run you through some of the examples. Uh, so here we have uh, physics actors and picking up and throwing them around. Um, it's the same as last time, but I've uh, got this cool little button here. So you can see like it uh, inter uh, interacts with my hand. So I can uh, push it down and then push it down fully and press it. And I'll give you a little bit of force feedback and you can uh, can hit as many times as you want. Uh, so I got these objects that I can pick up, I can throw them about, <laughs> do whatever with them. Um, can also, I guess, press the button with them, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I can try and... Yeah, that's cool. Okay, moving on. Um, so we have these little cubes here, which is just uh, picking up blueprints instead of just physics actors. So here we can uh, activate them, change them into a sphere. And, uh, back and forth. Um, here is, is a little bit different from last time. So this time um, we have this green one, which is similar to these ones. But um, as you can see here, if I hold it with the grip button, we have a default uh, grab and drop um, action set up. Uh, by default, it is hold down the grip button and then let it go to drop. But with this green one, um, we override that uh, behavior on this blueprint specifically. And so when I let go of the grip button, nothing happens. But if I let go, I'll hit the grip button again, rather. Um, it'll override and then uh, drop the cube, which is pretty cool. And so that's cool if you want to um, have things permanently stuck to people's hands and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, OK, moving on. We have drawers. It's pretty simple. Grab the drawer, move it out. Has a little haptic feedback when you reach the end or put it back in. Yeah. Simple stuff. I couldn't spend long on that. Uh, next one. Um, this one actually is you can kind of see the progression from just simple drawers to a more like complicated uh, pulley thing with the um, slider over there. But I'll get to that in a sec. Okay. So we have these cartridges. Um, a couple of VR games use these as kind of an input to decide which level you want to start with. So we can just grab this this mega game cartridge and then put it in. And then we get a little force feedback, and it has this little event that fires that says uh, playing the mega game. Uh, so you can put that away, uh, grab the awesome game, put it there. Yeah. And it's kind of cool, a little physics based. That's pretty simple. Um, it has an uh, dis event dispatcher that fires whenever it loads a cartridge, so it's pretty easy to set up in like your level blueprint or whatever, just listening for that event. Uh, next one, we have. The slider. This is pretty cool. Just got a button here that will spawn physics objects. And uh, depending what we have selected on this slider is what uh, physics object it will spawn. So here I'm just spawning cubes and I can go cones. I'll do whatever I want. Uh, slider is pretty cool. It'll um, animate to the closest segment. So here animate to the sphere, there it'll animate to the cube. I, that's all uh, configurable. You can turn it off or on and stuff like that. Um, Obviously, it's not the prettiest slider, but um, I try to make it as modular as possible so uh, you guys can, you know, do art and stuff like that. Uh, next thing, we have another cool thing, is just the lever. So if I go here, and it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, uh, pull the lever into here, and it'll just play the sequence of these little platforms going in and out. And I can just pull again, pause the sequence. Pull it again, play the sequence. Yeah, just leave it going. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, that's what I got set up so far. Um, you can obviously expand these, and I tried to make it. I commented everything so you kind of understand what's going on, and uh, implement your own functions and stuff like that. Okay, so that's a little bit of uh, what's in it. As for um, how it works and stuff, I'm going to be updating the uh, GitHub wiki with uh, all tutorials and stuff of um, expanding and setting up your own inputs and stuff like that. Um, as always, if you have any uh, comments or feedback or whatever, uh, leave them below. But um, 
I guess that's it for now. Uh, see you guys later.